Can you tell me who Jesus is? In the book of Acts, Luke chronicles the divinely appointed encounter between the Ethiopian eunuch and Philip the evangelist. Today, the Church of God follows in the footsteps of Philip as it seeks to help Ethiopians know Jesus Christ as their Savior. The Harvest Church of God in Ethiopia is doing this by evangelizing unreached tribal groups, planting new churches, organizing kindergarten and elementary schools, digging water wells, and equipping young ministers. While sowing seeds of hope, this indigenous group is reaping a great harvest of souls. Ethiopia has a population of 85 million composed of 80 tribal groups, each speaking their own language. About half of Ethiopia's population is under the age of 14, making it a nation of the young. Although an ancient Orthodox Christian church exists, it does not preach the full gospel. One third of the nation is Islamic. Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, is also the seat of the African Union, representing 53 African nations. Although it is a booming and pivotal metropolis with a population of over 4 million, Addis Ababa struggles with the stark contrast between the few that are rich and the many that are utterly poor. Addis Ababa alone has over 200,000 street children who survive by begging, stealing, or prostitution. It is in this climate of unbelievable poverty that God has raised up a man of integrity, wisdom, and spiritual compassion, Irui Sige, Administrative Bishop of the Harvest Church of God. Bishop Sige has suffered persecution and imprisonment while the socialists were in power. Today, he faces the challenge of ministry, having to do more with less. His training is seen in the stewardship of resources and people. His heart for the Lord is evident in his humble and quiet spirit. God has planted in him a vision of hope for the children, the poor, and the unreached. Against a backdrop of harsh economic and social contrasts, the Harvest Church of God is carrying out multiple ministries with minimal resources. 120 local congregations with 30,000 adult members are led from the national offices in Addis Ababa. These offices are housed in a cramped, deteriorated building rented from the government near a major slum area. Yet this ministry center is abuzz with activity despite erratic electricity and no running water. Outreaches to unreached people groups are coordinated in this humble setting as well as the training of national leaders. In the confined courtyard, street children come to a makeshift shelter to receive spiritual care. Enlarged by a tarpaulin, a local church also uses it as a sanctuary. We as the church must act quickly and decisively to nurture the seeds of hope already planted in the fertile hearts of Ethiopia. Water wells are needed to provide clean, clear water from the churches to their surrounding communities. Kindergartens and primary schools can offer the knowledge of a loving Savior and a way to rise above the dark grip of poverty. The greatest need keeping the Church of God from reaching the children of Ethiopia is the lack of adequate buildings and trained workers in villages. Accelerated training of ministers is essential to bringing young Christians to maturity. A ministry center is urgently needed to train workers for the north where the unreached people group Silale Oromo live and to train workers for the south in Sidama where a Bible school, kindergarten and primary schools are flourishing. Bishop Sige reports, in our culture, the image of our national office is not only important to our own people and their self-image, but also critical in our relations to the government and other agencies. A stalwart hope is rising in Ethiopia out from the shadows of Muslim mosque, abject poverty, and perpetual lack. The seeds of hope are in the good, rich soil of mature leadership with integrity. Hope is rising out of the vision already cast. Won't you let the hope that is in your heart spill out into the lives of this young Ethiopian nation? 
As Philip came to the aid of the Ethiopian eunuch, you and I can do our part to meet the challenges facing the Harvest Church of God. Plant seeds of prayer, plant seeds of support, plant seeds of hope.